Our morning campers, it's uh, 8.25, it's the 18th of December. Um, just uh, popped home, or popped back to the nest to get um, have a shower. I uh, woke up really early, nothing better to do. Sort of sit about, I thought if I'd do that, I'd go off for the traffic. I could do a stick of boy batteries on charge for a bit, so I just come back. Um, nobody here, but just sort of uh, come back, have a shower, and shoot off here again. Well, oh, I just dead on here on the bed, uh, wipe myself down, and just sort of let her dry it out in the warmth. Sort of get the damp, so I don't want to catch a chill or nothing. Not at my age. <laughs> um, yeah, so I uh, don't know about no more news from up there. Stonehenge Heritage Action Camp. Um, don't know whether anybody's managed to get back on there, but there's two or three ways of getting on there. I noticed yesterday, but I don't know what they're going to do about that. Um, people are arriving on foot. Uh, Mm. It's bloody mole today, isn't it? So I've got to be on my own way out. What time do I leave there? 20... I don't know. 20 to 7? No, yeah, 20 to 7. They yeah, were back here really quarter past, so, it wasn't, so I went miles away. But, um, yeah, not a lot. You know, a lot to say, really. I mean, I can't think about um, lots of things, but... I do keep thinking about this tunnel they're going to build, dig under the Stonehenge. And I personally, unless I get some, not people that go, oh, I know, I know, and they just fucking pass it on the tails, I don't know about the, with the tunnel. My opinion on it really is, if it's dug, and it's as deep as they say it's going to be, it's not going to touch the artifacts anyway, is it? And, we all want to, they want to go dig things up. They're not going to dig nothing up anyway, are they? So they're going to, so what's in the ground will stay in the ground. And if they dig, if stuff goes through, if they put this tunnel in, um, artifacts are damaged or lost or what have you. If they're lost, nobody would know. But I'm thinking, what difference does it make to the world if our college, our college, our archaeology, if archaeology is lost? What difference does that make to the world? Shouldn't we be looking forward? Times we got now, we should be looking forward. I mean, I talk to people, they don't even believe that this COVID exists. You know, mind you, some people believe the Earth's flat as well, don't they? But yeah, it just makes me makes me sort of curious. I mean, it's like if you do wrong and nobody knows about it, you don't tell nobody. Have you done wrong? You know, it's only I don't know. I don't. I can't really explain that. I can't put it into. I can't put it into um. Put it into words, really. But. They say about these high speed trains. Well, what are you gonna do if you don't have high speed if you, well what are you gonna do if you don't have trains? Are you gonna carry the goods about? You know it'd make good for people that work miles away from where they live to get home quick, get to work quick, have more leisure time. I don't know. Like I gotta say, I'm fucking maybe seventy soon. It don't really apply to me. I know it applies to my kids, my grandchildren, and what have you. But I don't really sort of see what this stopping this tunnel at Stonehenge. What's what's going to what's going to achieve? The only thing it's got to achieve by having a tunnel there is the bottleneck's going to disappear. It's going to have a dual carriageway under the ground. And nobody could see it. Yeah, and then the people call about English heritage. You know, the money they make at Stonehenge. 
Well, the money they make, you know, they're all about like old things and antiques and arch, old artifacts. I can't say the fucking word. You know, in the old buildings and whatever, they want to preserve them. And a lot of the money that is made at Stonehenge, isn't it? Seventy percent of the money that's made at Stonehenge goes into other projects around the country. I don't know. It's only what I get told. I mean, because most of these people that are go on about, you know, this that never. I don't think they actually know, do they? Talking to a chap yesterday about the about the um, what was his name was Derek Darren. Sorry, I talk, sorry. And uh, well, I see. So he was all anti tunnel. Then I said about digging under the tunnel, digging under it. It's going to be that deep. It's not going to touch anything anyway. I mean, Stone Age was when they reckon the stones were put there, in that, And then there's Bronze Age. Well, when they were digging for bronze, I don't think he went down 20, 25 foot. They went out about 15 foot each side. Because they couldn't, they couldn't breathe. They couldn't get air down to them. That's about the... As advanced as they were. And, you know, you've got the rumours about the stones being brought across country. But... And then there's other bits you can find on YouTube if you go and have a look at it. There's professors there. They reckon that all around those valleys and the dip by Stonehenge, they reckon there's posts there that when there was water there, where they used to tie the boats up to get the stones off of. Because everything changes, doesn't it? You know, I mean, before them stones were put there, it was a field or a wood or whatever it was. Things change. Things go on. You know, and I mean, if they want to keep the stones, they say they go get vandalised and this, that and the other. So you'll need security there. I mean, who's going to pay for that? But I did seem to think, I read somewhere that the bloke who sold it to their, or let the English Heritage have it, or whatever the fuck they call themselves, I think he said something about um, having free entry to it, and donations only, and I think it's so, so a maximum of a shilling. That's five p five p u yarns, but then again, I don't know. But um, nobody seems to want to talk rash rashly about anything, do they? They just get on the bandwagon and sort of fucking start waving their arms about, and they just say whatever the people say, a bit like sheep, one bolts and a lot of fucking bolts, don't they? But then again, see, it's my opinion. My opinion don't count. You know. Like I say, the thing is with this tunnel, I'm not anti-tunnel or pro-tunnel. It don't fucking make no difference to me. Because when the tunnel's there, I won't fucking be. So it won't uh, make, no, make no odds to me. But we have to think about our children and our children's children, don't we? Obviously. But I think the time now is to look ahead rather than look back. Whatever you find in the ground won't make a fucking blow bit of difference when you do that. All this doing is just keeping a lot of people at work, like all ar ar archaeologists. You are, so I said that time. And the thing. Anyway, peeps, just me musing on the Stonehenge Tunnel. And uh, get up, get up, get dressed, have some breakfast, and bugger off. I'll speak to you all later. Remember, stay classy, no fighting. Doo 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 doo. Bye bye. Merry Christmas. Ooh.